All right, so hi y'all. It's Tiffany. Um, if you were if you follow me on Facebook, you'll know I did a version of this video yesterday, um, where I explained how I sustained an injury to my dialysis arm yesterday. I'm doing another version of the same story right now because I intend to post this to Twitter um, and tag 3T into it. And the thing is, my more candid version had a lot of F-bombs in it. <laughs> and since I'm going to tag like my idols into this, I want to have an absolutely um, G-rated version <laughs> online. So let's tell the story once again. Um, clean version. <laughs> so, yesterday I went to dialysis to take my treatment because my kidneys do not work. My kidneys have not worked since 2009. Um, and I've been on dialysis. This is almost eight years that I've been on it. And my access, which is called a fistula, is in my left arm. I'm actually left handed also. <laughs> it's in my left arm. And it's still bandaged. If the bandage looks a little, like, grungy, it's not dirt. It's just that my powder from my makeup fell on my arm and, you know, quite obviously brown. So, <laughs> but, um, I have to have two 15-gauge needles put into the port here. And that's for every treatment. The needles do not remain, you know, in my arm between treatments. They're just for the treatment itself. And then, um... You know, they come out at the end, and I get bandaged up, as you can see right here. So what happened yesterday was I sustained what is called an infiltration. And what happens is that a fistula is basically a very large vein. Um, I'm usually really good with the technical stuff, but I don't really remember. I think they put, like, an artery and a vein together surgically, and that's what makes this large access where you put the needles at because the dialysis treatment itself um, does the work of the kidneys for me. It cleans all the toxins out and removes excess fluid because if that was to remain in my body, I would die <laughs> and it would not be a very pleasant death anyway. <laughs> I've come very close to dying from what is called fluid overload. Um, it is basically like drowning on dry land, like you're not submerged in water, but like the fluid is like compressing on your lungs and everything is just not a fun time. But so my arm, an infiltration, is when that large 15-gauge needle um, does not exactly lie in the vein, but it goes through the vein, which is very painful, to say the least. Um, and it also causes bruising and swelling, because when the needle goes through the vein, the blood leaks out into the tissues and the surrounding area of my arm. I don't know if you can still see, but it's like swollen here, and it's very, very sore. It's hurting me. A lot to touch it to even point it out right now. Um, I'm laughing, but I really want to cry. <laughs> um, yeah, that happened yesterday. And it was so bad that it's, it's actually not as swollen as it was yesterday. Because, I mean, yesterday it was like I had a grapefruit coming out of my arm. It was very unpleasant to look at and very unpleasant for me to feel. Especially with the machine still running and trying to circulate my blood. Which was... That's just the worst feeling in the world. When it's okay, it's bad if you infiltrate before they hook you up to the machine and it starts. But once they start the machine and flip that switch and the thing starts oscillating and circulating the blood in and out of your That's just the worst. I don't even know how to explain it to somebody who's never endured that. Um it's like somebody trying to pull this entire bone out through the skin. It's that painful. It's it's the sort of thing that can make a grown man cry. So, um, I was kind of very, very close to crying um, yesterday. But they caught it in time before it got to, like, the worst that it could have been. But, um, yeah, I wanted to explain what happened. Um, today's Friday. I have to go back to the Alice's tomorrow, actually. Um, I'm a little apprehensive about that. <laughs> um... But, I mean, you know, I didn't get to take my treatment Thursday, so I have to go tomorrow. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I get to finish 
well, I finished, but take the treatment. Um, because I really don't want to go to the hospital. Um, because if I wait too long and don't take my treatments the way I'm supposed to, it does turn into a life or death sort of situation and I have to be rushed to the emergency room for it. Um, that's not fun. I've never experienced that, but I know other patients who have. And some of them did not make it through that. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, I did a lot of complaining on my social media accounts. I whined a lot. And I really want to thank all of my friends who put up with me, who encouraged me, who were so sweet and so kind to me. A lot of y'all kept sending me pictures of Terrell Jackson. <laughs> and I appreciate that because he's my favorite out of 3T. I love all of 3T, but Terrell's been my favorite since I was like 12. I'm 30 now. Do not say I look 30. Um, but yeah, I mean, part of the thing that helped was, you know, I did get to speak to 3T um, during the radio show on... Wednesday before all of this mess happened and you know the nice sort of euphoric feeling you have from talking to your idols combined with such a wonderful support system as I have with all of my friends both in real life and online um it's really sweet and heartwarming and you know I just don't know what I do without all of y'all y'all are my just Y'all are all MVPs. <laughs> I don't want to cry. Um, but it really is touching how if I say, like, oh, something hurt, so many people flock to me and say, well, Tiffany, we're sorry. We'll help you feel better. We're praying for you. You know, it's just the little things, just little comments and little words like that that really do help get somebody through something. And then, like I said, I have, you know, my, well, all my friends are 3T fans. So basically, you know, it was like a double whammy of, good you too <laughs> because I have my friends being so nice to me and then they're sending me 3T stuff and like tip look at this this ought to make you feel better which it did and you know I can't really say that without thanking 3T also um I don't know if they'll ever see this video if it ever like resonate with them or anything but you know I've had a lot of hard times <laughs> um over the years with my illness you know various other issues and everything in my life and it was just their music, their videos, how, like, upbeat and happy they seem in general that really resonated with me. And I try to, you know, emulate that in my daily life. And my friends are all just like them. <laughs> we're all just, we're, we're all trying to be that happy and that sweet and that positive. And, you know, it's a give and take situation. And, you know, it just... I feel like I'm a better person for all of my friends and for being a 3T fan. And, you know, I just couldn't imagine my life without my friends or without 3T. Like, everything goes together, and it's just, like, perfect and kismet. And I just want to tell you I love all of you from the bottom of my heart, all of my friends, all of 3T. You know, you make all of this just easier for me to bear <laughs> than if I was really alone. I have all of you such a wonderful umbrella and support. And I just want to say thank you and I love you all and you know I'm always here for any of you and you know I'm glad all of y'all are in my corner. So thank you very much and you know I love you all. <laughs> I can't say I love you all enough. Just I wish that I knew something stronger than I love you. <laughs> for all of y'all to just tell all of y'all all right so that's enough for me but I just wanted to explain that and I also wanted to extend my thank you to everybody so that's that for me and thank you and thank you <laughs> bye bye <laughs>